Bigfoot, Beam Software and Acclaim, 1990. Oh boy, Beam Software again. You can even tell immediately by the crap music it's the same team that made the Back to the Future games. So this game is about a mythical North American forest ape, most popular for his mid-walk pose seen here. For some reason though, this game makes Bigfoot look more like a monster truck and has nothing to do with the wildlife creature. Once again, like with their shit-tarted attempt at Back to the Future, Beam Software completely misses the point of what this game should be about. No forests, no apes, not even a nod to Harry and the Hendersons. Ugh. So let's just review this game for what it is, a missed opportunity. So we're heading to Mesa. What the hell am I looking at? This looks terrible. The sound effects are awful. I don't feel like I'm controlling my truck at all. Am I even doing anything? I push every possible combination, but I'm not really going anywhere. And what is this now? I have a shuriken on my truck? I don't even know what I'm doing, and I still won. In most racing games, if you fall behind, you're done, doomed, out of the race. But here, if you fall to the bottom of the screen behind the opponent, the screen just pulls you along like you're on a truck leash. So you could just relax in the back until the last stretch, and then actually try to do something. Between races, you can upgrade aspects of your truck with the money you collected as a prize for winning, and while racing on the track. Prepare to race. And now, in the car crush event, again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I seem to move a little, but the controls aren't just push button go. So clearly this game has some asinine control setup. Now we're headed to Reno. Did you see that? Bigfoot was dancing! I'm not making this up, look at this. So I exploded and the game is over. Which is fine. The controls are about as real as Bigfoot himself, which is not at all. So, Beam Software, you've brought us again to a new low. One out of ten.